Oh, I enjoy acting now more than when I was 30, 35, because you think you know everything. You know nothing. I think the soft spot in a man's head doesn't get hard to like about 41. Another long night of crime and violence. Some say it's only a matter of time before the city implodes. So it's kind of a cautionary tale that when quite often you get rid of like your hero and then Maybe you need the hero back sometimes because uh, you're just not ready to take on the responsibility. I think we're finished here. Go on, beat it. Uh, there's something so invigorating and infectious about this kid who's full of life and he just wants to explode and he wants you to help him, you know, educate him, take him on this journey. So in a sense, He's winding the clock back for me. I was willing to go off into that sunset, bitter, crumble away, just become dust. He goes, no, come back. We need you, you fool. Come back. I found him. Samaritan. Samaritan died 25 years ago. That's what they say. Can't do 29-year-old Rambo kind of a thing because you also have to honor who you are, your age. That's that's the part of it, that you're not who you were, but you're still there. Actually, there's a line in there where, you know, you start to fall apart when you stop caring about everything, meaning life, yourself, everything. So I thought that this guy, his strength would be in his resolve, and he still has great physical power as opposed to speed, and he's not jumping through the air. He's not that kind of guy. He's like a very, very, very powerful individual that is still sort of in the world of reality a little bit. He can't fly, he can't see through, you know, the walls or whatever. Fire doesn't come out of his mouth. He's just a unique sort of superhero. He's almost like a modern day Hercules. You think you live across from a superhero? Do you have a therapist, kid? Kid. Samaritan is dead. There has been a tremendous accomplishment by certain directors and certain companies in Marvel and DC that have really pushed the universe to the max. I mean, with everything that you could possibly imagine has been created. I always feel there's nothing quite as relatable as almost getting hit by a car or walking down a dark alley and you. What was that? There's a shadow coming behind you. That's very relatable. So what I'm trying to say in my awkward way is that we try to make the events and the danger plausible in a sense and identifiable. That that could happen to you. It's something that's very tangible. It's not from another universe. It's right here in the streets. Samaritan cleaned up the streets. <laughs> You mind your business, I'll mind mine. I don't believe you! Are you okay? I'm cool. I think when I started, there was no real what I call action film. There were action beats, there were car chases, there was this and that, there'd be a fight. But I thought, Wow, this is a genre that's really fascinating where you, a real action film, you could turn the sound off and know what the story is just through physical movement. So when I did Rambo, I literally said, how the first blood, turn the sound off, people will know what the story is. That's when I realized how important this genre could be. And it was, and, and, it's modern mythology. We need these stories cathartically from Joseph Campbell, you know, man of a thousand masks, myths and all that stuff. Mask, I mean, every society needs these figures. It's almost as though, oh, they're gods. They're modern day godlike creatures. We've seen it from the Iliad and the Odyssey and Homer to present day Marvel. How strong are you? <laughs> Not as strong as I once was. Things start to fall apart when you stop caring. And I stopped caring a long time ago. How come you hate who you are? For some people, it's too late to change the damage they've done. 
He's hiding something. I want him dead. Really? The things you bury tend to haunt you. Why did you disappear? 